Welcome back to my channel, everyone. You are ready to record your first video if you are watching this video right now. So you've already made the decision that you're ready to start your channel. You've already come up with a channel name and now it's time to record. And you probably have the butterflies. You're probably nervous. You're like, oh my God, what if I miss something? Like you're just excited and nervous at the same time. Well, if that is you, then this video is for you. I'm going to teach you how to record your very first YouTube video. All right, so let's hop right on in. Before you record your first video, I want to highly encourage you to check out my other YouTube videos on starting your YouTube channel. It's gonna be on the card, on whichever side, I haven't figured out which side it appears, but Go ahead and check out those videos and then come back to this one when you're actually ready to record. But if you are ready to record, another thing that you wanna make sure you do is have vidIQ. That's V-I-D-I-Q because you want to get that so that you can come up with a search-friendly title for your very first video. We're not doing the first video like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm starting a YouTube channel. This is my very first video. We're gonna get right into the meat of what your channel is gonna be about because honestly, the only reason why you would record a video like that is for your purposes. No one else really cares about that video unless you're already well known. And we just want the meat. So you want a video, you want a searchable title for your very first video. So if you get vidIQ, it's gonna help you figure out how to figure out the best titles for your first video. And if you need more details in reference to that, put them in the comment section below your questions and I can make a whole video just on how to use vidIQ for SEO, for tags and all these other things. But I won't talk about that in this video. So here's some things that you're gonna need to record your first video. You're gonna need some type of tripod. You're gonna need some type of lighting and you don't have to have a ring light if you don't have a ring light use natural sunlight or whatever but you need some type of lighting don't be trying to take your picture or take your videos in the dark because it's going to give you a low quality video you're also obviously going to need a camera i can't show you my camera right now because i'm recording with it but you need some type of camera or phone or something that you can record your video with i'm actually using a phone to record this video so you don't have to have a high-tech DSLR camera, you can absolutely record with your phone as what I'm doing right now. And another thing that I would highly suggest you get is a camera remote. This is a lifesaver. This is something that I use every single time I record. The good thing about the camera remote is that you can take your thumbnails with this. So when you are taking pictures for your YouTube channel or for your YouTube video, you can actually use this instead of having to keep doing a timer or hitting a button on your phone or whatever. You could just use this and it's so much easier. Also, when you're about to start your videos, if your camera is like really far away, all you have to do is click the button and it's gonna be so much more convenient for you to click this and start recording versus you having to come all the way over to your camera, hit and record and go all the way back to where you were sitting down at and then start recording. So definitely invest in this. I will have links to all of my stuff in the description. Like if you want a tripod, if you need a remote, if you want a ring light, I'm gonna have all of the stuff in my description. And I'm gonna actually show you real quick what my setup is. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my setup real quick. Let me flip. So we have my tripod right here. And it's like a little simple tripod and I have the the phone, I don't know what you call this, but the phone holder to go on this tripod. And then I actually have my big ring light and I will put this stuff in the description below. But this is wonderful. I love using the ring light because it is so convenient when your lighting is like kind of off. So I have a window on this side and this kind of balances it out for me. Like I'm gonna show you the difference when I don't use the ring light. So real quick, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna show you the difference. Like you see it's balanced right now and then I'm gonna turn it off. And you see that? And although it doesn't look bad, like you see that shadow right here, I don't like, and especially when I turn right here, cause this is ideally where I record it from this kind of standpoint or either right here. But when it's like gloomy outside and it's dark, the ring light just 
does it for me but then when it's like this like the sun is out but like this side is dark then I just turn this on and it gives me a balance so it just kind of balances out the overall and that's really the only stuff that's the only thing that I use to record my videos like I don't have a mic I don't even have a mic for my stuff yet I literally just use my tripod my ring light and my phone that's it so it could be as simple as just using what you have that's what I'm doing I have a DSLR camera and I don't even use that to record my videos because I feel that the phone quality is just better and it's more convenient so this is personally what's been working for me and this is what I'm going to continue to use until I feel like I'm ready to change to something else once you have all of your equipment set up or ready to go for recording your first video, the very first step you wanna do is pick an actual spot to record your videos. So right now I'm recording in my office area because I already preset this area up specifically for me to be able to record in. Maybe it's in your bedroom. I mean, this is technically in my bedroom. You just can't see the bedroom stuff, but it could be in your bedroom, it could be in the living room, it could be wherever it is that you feel is gonna be of good quality, where it's not too much going on in the background. You know, you just want it to be where it's presentable. That, that's all you need. And ideally, when you pick your background or wherever you wanna record your videos, make sure it has good lighting. So always look for the window. You wanna be as close to a window as possible so that you can get the best chance of having good lighting. And then look at the background of, you know, once you get in front of the window. Because sometimes the background doesn't look as presentable as you would ideally like for it to. And you kinda have to like move some things around to prepare for you to record. And just a quality tip for your videos, make sure you're facing the window and not away from the window. Because if you're facing away from the window and the window is behind you, it's gonna make your videos very dark. So you wanna be actually facing the window or being close to the window so that way the light coming from the window gives you better quality for your videos. All right, so we're moving on to step two and that is setting up your stuff. You want to set up your camera equipment and your lighting. So now you are prepped for recording your first video. You wanna make sure that it is level. Ideally for your video, you see how I have just a tad bit of space right here. You kinda of want it close like this, so that way you're not like too far away like this. You don't want it to be like this. You wanna ideally be close to the camera. So set that up and make sure that you're like the center focus of your video. But go ahead and set up your camera equipment and your lighting for step two. Now we're moving on to step three. So step three is when you're going to start creating your thumbnails. I personally do my thumbnails first because it's when everything is fresh. It is like when you're presenting your best self, you're, you haven't started recording videos yet. By this time, you should already know what your video is going to be about. Hopefully, you've done research on looking at different thumbnails that's on that same subject so that way you can make sure that your thumbnail stands out but also goes in with the other ones that are there so rather that be using props in your video thumbnails or whatever it is that you may need to do but now is the time to create your thumbnails you want to give yourself at least about 30 minutes to an hour to create your thumbnail depending on how many videos you're doing so I can easily spend an hour creating thumbnails if I am doing more than one video. But if you're doing one video, you can probably spend about 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes creating on a one thumbnail and then you should be good to go. Now how you create your thumbnail. So basically you will use your remote and you're gonna pose in front of your picture or in front of your video and you're just gonna snap some shots. So what I typically do, I'm gonna give you some examples. Obviously I'm using my phone so I can't actually do it. But what I would do is I would hold my props and then I just click. Click. And ideally you want to have at least about four or five different poses for your thumbnail options because what happens is in post 
you may go through and you don't know which one to choose and you may think you like one until you go and post and start looking at the different options and then you don't like that one or that one's blurry. I will easily take about 50 photos just to get a thumbnail just in case. Just in case you only need one, but sometimes you need a variety to get the best one. So take as many shots as you can. Don't be stingy in this area. I would even get some thumbnails in different backgrounds you know, just to kind of see what is gonna work for you. And that's why it takes about 20 to 30 minutes because you want to have different options to choose from when you're actually picking your thumbnail for your videos. Now, moving on to step four, you wanna do a practice run before you actually record your official video. The practice run is very crucial because this is gonna give you a chance to rewatch it and make sure that the quality is decent. You wanna make sure that you can hear yourself some people are using a mic and I've heard so many stories about how you record a whole video not realizing that your mic isn't on. So you just wanna make sure that there's no technical difficulties going on, like whether your video is not focused, it's blurry, if you're not even in the shot, like just minor things that you wouldn't think would happen can happen. And so doing a practice run not only ensures the quality of your video is gonna turn out the way you want, but two, it's gonna give you a chance to kinda of like, loosen up a little bit because when you're recording your first video you are going to be nervous or you may just be overly excited and it can be like you want to make sure you kind of get those first jitters out and then actually dive into the video after you do your practice now as far as as far as recording time you can record for probably like 10 seconds like it doesn't have to be a long video you can just do a practice run on your intro or whatever it is that you want to do but it don't have to be a long video like maybe like 10 or 15 seconds and you should be good with that and now we're on to the moment you've all been waiting for step five record your video that's it you just have to record it record it if you mess up that's okay just keep going but actually do your recording of your video. I promise you it's going to be just fine. And remember, this is your very first video. So it's not going to be perfect. But the important thing is that you get it out there. You get that one out the way. And then you keep going. So I would love for you guys, if you are starting a new channel and you're commenting from your channel, let me know what your channel is below because I would love to support my new YouTubers out there in these streets for 2022. I am really ready for, to see like everybody's channel and what type of stuff you're doing. And if you feel like you could use some help with your channel, feel free to catch my YouTube playlist. I have tons of videos on how to start a YouTube channel. All you have to do is click that. I have how to edit videos, how to, you're watching the how to record your first video right now, how to start your actual channel, and all types of different videos. So be sure to check that out. And I have a bonus for you. I'm gonna give you some quick tips on when you're recording, like just recording tips. So for one, look into the camera. And even I struggle with this because you can see yourself, right? So you wanna look this way, but you really wanna look into like the actual camera because it is noticeable on the videos. It is, it's noticeable. And so try to do your best to focus on the actual camera when you're talking versus focusing on yourself. It's hard to do, but try your best to do that when you're recording your video. Also, try to pause instead of saying, um. So you're gonna realize how much you say um when you record your first video. So try your best to pause and then say what you were gonna say because you can always edit out the pauses instead of always constantly hearing um, um, and um, and um. Sometimes it could be hard to edit those out because you're running on your sentences with the ums. So try to pause. That way you can start eliminating the ums from your categories or from your vocabulary when you're recording your videos. And here's another one. This is one that we don't think about until we get to it and then we don't know what to do. Plan beforehand how you're going to end your video. You can feel so awkward at the end of your video because you don't know how to end it. And you're like, okay, um, so, and what happens is you start rambling and you're like, oh yeah, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you do this, and oh yeah, don't forget to do this, and I hope you like this video, and comment below, and oh my gosh, and da 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 and then so, okay, um, bye! You know, and it's always like kind of weird if you don't pre-plan how you're gonna end it. 
So just be thinking about that. You can hit them with the, I'll see you guys in my next video or see you next time or I hope you enjoyed this, see you later. But kind of know beforehand what you're gonna say because even I have done this where I don't know how to end the video and I'm like, uh, okay. So those are just some tips for, for if you're recording your video, your very first video on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.